Welcome to Secrets of Irving. Mighty Isis. She designed and built it herself. She's a budding aviation genius. Aeronautics Day. Model planes, gliders, kite flying, rockets, contests, prizes, come one, come all. You know who will probably win the glider contest? Mark Dawson. Well, he's a hard one to beat. Besides, I just saw his plane. But the way he brags, I mean, like he invented model airplanes. Well, Mark does have a few things to learn. The girl throws her plane again and it gets into a collision. The glider, beautifully made. I didn't know you built model airplanes. Yes. Uh, I designed the wings myself. They're special. Mm -hmm. uh, here and over here. Gives more of a lift. I have a big model at home. Her name is Chela Montoya. She's self-taught and brilliant. Well, you are going to enter the contest on Friday. I don't think so. Why not? My brother, Raul. Yes? Won't let me. He says girls don't do things like make model planes and race them against boys. Ask him why not. The answer should give you a good laugh. What he means is aviation is a hard field to get into, especially for a woman. She'd do better not to try. Andrea offers to talk to Raul, then borrows the plane to show to her class. Hi, Mr. Mason. Miss Thomas. Hello, Mark. My plane can outfly that junker any day. She's also a threat to some people's masculinity. Well, it looks pretty good to me. That's an experimental type. Wing construction's off. It can't fly. Try it. I'd say it did okay. A lucky flight. Because that's totally a thing. Don't worry, boy. Someday your wee-wee will be as big as hers. Miss Thomas! I was in the neighborhood, so I thought I'd stop by. How's your mural coming? What mural? He's a wall mural artist, and he's got nothing. No ideas, no inspiration, no paint on the wall. Why not do something for Aeronautics Day? Well, sure, but what? Mm, you could start by speaking with your sister, Chela. I'm sure she'd have plenty of ideas on murals of her flying and planes and... So you know about Chela's hobby? He says, what chance does she have to be an aeronautical engineer? Andrea says, why not let her try? You can start by letting her enter the contest on Friday. Hey, Montoya. Hello, hello, Mark. I was just wondering what you're doing for Aeronautics Day. Of course, it really is an American celebration. To top it all off, he's a racist. Hey, I'm very proud of my Mexican heritage. I'm also proud to be an American. And I know you people don't fly planes. That's right. If a Mexican wants to fly from Mexico City to Guadalajara, he has to hire a white person. It gets complicated. He also likes to make fun of Raul's artwork. Since you're such an artist, maybe I'll let you repaint my plane. I could use some softer colors. Oh, may I, great one? Your sister have one like this? Yeah. And I suppose you think it's better, huh? Well, it is. Excuse me, Mark. I gotta go. Hey, hey, what about repainting my plane? Well, you don't want a lot of pictures and Chicano designs on it, do you? He's gonna need an ice pack for that burn! At the Montoya house, Raul has just told Chela she's entering the contest, and he believes she can win. I think Mark got to him a little. My, my engine needs a new valve. Watch it for me, Raul. I'll be right back. Sure. Hey, you just gave me a, a great idea. See? Miss Thomas told you that talking to Chela and letting her enter the contest would solve your problems. Miss Thomas is always right. Montoya! Oh, you again. Still drawing, huh? You're really observant. That's your sister stuff? Yeah. Mind if I look? Uh, look, but don't touch. Keep an eye on him, Raul. You don't really trust him to behave, do you? Can I fly it? Just one quick test flight. Uh, you better ask Chela when she comes back. The word you're looking for is no. She won't let me. I know she won't. 
Hey, hey, man, that's not yours. Afraid I'll find out it's no good, huh? Hey, it flies. Then what's the sweat? Don't let your sister tell you what to do. Hey, man, you don't understand. Sure I do. She's calling the shots. Yes, she is. It's her design, her idea, her sweat equity. So, yeah, it makes sense that she's calling the shots. Is he doing that because Mark said Chayla is calling the shots or because he tried to take the plane? Either way, leaving it untended is a bad idea. Rick and Andrea see them, and Rick takes Chase while Andrea parks the car. As the script calls for, the driver just got in and the truck is taking off down the road. Rick tells Andrea what's going on and runs off to call the highway patrol. Mighty ice, ice, ice. Just when Raul has resigned himself to an unscheduled road trip, the truck stops. Briefly, as it careens down the mountain, Isis lands on the cab. Little did we know that before she landed this goddess gig, she drove for the Cairo Thebes Trucking Company. You never should have gone inside this truck. Yeah, I know, but a guy tried to steal my sister's plane. I ran after him. Raul, you cannot put yourself in danger just because someone else is being foolish. Oh, I know. Thanks for bailing me out. Yeah, thanks. I'm sure somebody will come along to give me a ride back to town, eventually. You couldn't make a big wind to carry me back there? I guess that's against the rules. <laughs> When Andrea finds that, it's not hard to figure out what happened. Mark is determined to fly her plane, but he needs that valve she mentioned earlier, so maybe they can catch him at the hobby shop when he goes to buy one. Did a guy in an old army shirt buy one? Yeah, he came in here right after you did. In fact, he had a plane that looked a little like yours, too. It didn't look a lot like hers because Mark had Raoul repaint it first. Actually, Raoul isn't with them because he had a hunch where Mark would need to go to have enough room to fly that plane. Raul keeps saying he wants to talk, but Mark is afraid he wants to talk with his knuckles. Why do they always go up? Where is that going to take him that he can get away from Raul? Not there. Help! Hold on! Say hurry! Don't let me fall! Uh, don't worry, I won't. I want you in that contest on Friday. I want Shannon to win fair and square. She's got me beat already. Her plane's better than mine. I'm glad they're focused on the important stuff. The others arrive and see the plane. Andrea sees the peril and finds a place to transform. Tempest Zephyr wins on high. Lift him now through the sky. It's all right, Mark. The winds will carry you. Isa said, just kidding, and the wind stopped, and he plummeted halfway down before she started the wind again and said, just kidding. Swirling forces all surround. Gently fly him to the ground. He wanted to stay there a while longer and look around. Oh, well. I gotta take Raul. I've really been a dope. Stealing Chayla's plane and all those stupid things I said about you. 
about your painting and the other things. <laughs> hey, <laughs> I'd like to be your friend. Yeah, <laughs> I'd like that. He's decided he wants to learn more about Raul's culture, so he'll be a gopher and cleanup boy to help with Raul's painting. Speaking of which... Hey, that's me! On the swing! It's all you, Jenna. You gave me the idea for the mural. But he didn't do it alone. Uh, I'd like you to meet one of my assistants. <laughs> Actually... I was only in charge of cleaning paintbrushes, but... Gracias. Next time, try not cleaning them with your face. And that's that. Over the past 15 weeks, we've spent a fair bit of time talking about sexism and how people see each other. We talked about winning and losing and debunked a flying saucer. Not a bad season. As they did in the original airing, we'll be back in a month or two with season two. I'll see you then on Secrets of Irving.